everyone! So today's video is going to be a homeware haul. Now I don't know about you, but these days I think I prefer buying stuff for my house rather than clothes, which is bizarre to me. I mean, I've always loved decorating, whether it's been at my in my bedroom at my parents' house or since I've moved out and have my own house, I just have always liked decorating a room and a space to make it feel nice to me. So anyway, we're redecorating a bit at the moment and we went out of the weekend and I found some lovely things and there's a few Christmassy decorations thrown into this haul just for good measure because we're getting close and I know you guys love Christmas as much as me. So I'm going to show you what I got and then I'm going to show you a few of the Christmassy things and I hope you like what I picked up. So here we go. The first thing I wanted to show you are these bad boys. Yeah. These are from Asda Living and they were only £6 each. Probably can't say that but they were. Trust me, I'm telling you the truth. Um, yeah, these are really nice and we got these for our new dining room table which I will show you eventually. I'm going to show you the room once it's all done but I'm not going to bring the dining table up here because that would just be crazy so I won't be doing that but I will show you it eventually if you haven't already seen it in the back of a vlog. Um, but yes, these are nice. And to go on top of those, we got these which are also from Asda Living and they are pillar candles. They're kind of the medium size I think and these ones are jasmine scented. They're really, really nice. They do loads of different ones in all different colours. I wanted white and the other white ones they do, I believe, are in clean cotton fragrance but they didn't smell very strong at all so I thought I'd get these because I do actually plan on burning these instead of just using them for decoration because they're £3 each or two for five pounds so it's quite easy to just repurchase them and they do smaller ones and larger ones depending on the height you want it might even be nice to have a small uh, medium one and a small one or whatever floats your boat really i also have this candle which is a tin candle and i've had one of these before and it's the plumeria and cardamom fragrance candle from Primark. These are so nice. They're four pounds and this is a large one and it has three wicks. Now I have actually been burning this so it looks, no this doesn't have three wicks, I wonder if it has one. I've burnt this and it looks kind of gross now. It looks like that but it's burned all the way to the bottom. The only thing with these is as you can see there's a lot of wastage. I don't know if it's because they're a cheaper candle or because I didn't burn it properly the first time. I'm sure I've had them from Primark before where they haven't done this, but as you can see, quite a lot's gone to waste. But I am going to get another one of these and try again because the scent is lovely, it's so pretty and it's quite, I'd say it's kind of like a quite grown up scent. Like if you walk into a shop, like a quite an expensive shop like Zara Home or, or even into Next Home or something, this is kind of the scent that those shops have. Does that make any sense? But it's really nice anyway. I feel like I'm going to sneeze because that was actually a bit dusty. <coughs> so next I picked up these from B&Q and I don't know if these look at all Christmassy to you but they were in their Christmas range and I don't particularly think they look that Christmassy so I'm hoping that I can have these out all year round but let me know what you think. They're kind of like glass jar lanterns because they have the little handle and you can put tea lights in them and or even store stuff in them if, if you wanted to and they have this sort of hessian wrapped fabric around them and then a twine ribbon and a little heart decoration and the big one was five pounds and the little one was three pounds so these would add a really nice touch to a bedroom or wherever you're decorating really if you're going for this sort of rustic natural look and i might as well just show you the other thing that i got from being q but it's christmasy so i hope you're in the christmas mood and it is this and it says noel and i just thought it was really nice little letters that you could display on a shelf around Christmas time. I'm obviously not planning on having this up all year round. Um, on a table, just something to add that nice Christmassy, Christmassy touch. And it's just really, it's just pretty and I think it will just look so nice. Um, and I believe this was £5 as well from B&Q, so I thought that was really good for this. They're quite heavy, quite chunky. Okay. I also got something else from Primark and it's Christmassy again, but again, I think you could actually use these year round depending on if how you use them, I'll just show you anyway. So I got these star decorations which are pretty big, quite big for a tree unless you have a ginormous tree, 
but I, I really like these and they can stand up as well because they're quite wide so I think you could kind of chop the the string bit off and maybe like have them as decorations on a shelf because I really like that Scandinavian rustic look so there's these and they are £1.50 each then I got these which I think I probably will end up putting on the tree I've got three of them but they're all the same they're these little birdies and they're just so nice they, they're all carved and they're like that sort of wood, wood and white effect and I love those and these were £2 each then I got a rustic heart. Who doesn't love a rustic heart? And um, the price has come off, but I'm sure this is £1.50 for this. Um, oh, I got another star. So I got three stars, three beds. A rustic heart. And this one that says love. Again, on sort of a little rope. And this was £2. So they're all really inexpensive. And I'm not saying to have all of these hanging up around your room or house all year round. But if you just picked a couple of the items and displayed them in a nice way, then I don't personally think they, they have to look Christmassy. But that's just my opinion. If they were tinsely, glittery and said ho 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 or something on them, then that's a different matter. But I really like these and they're all from Primark and they're really good price. Okay, so moving away from Christmassy things for a bit, um, we went to the range, and the range is amazing. It's a bit hit and miss, but this time they had so many nice things, I literally wanted to buy the whole shop. So we got these uh, coasters. Again, I hope you can see them. They're tied up with some rustic twine, which seems to be a bit of a running theme in this video, but obviously that needs to come off. And they're grey, and they're kind of like uh, stone, but they're not. And you get four coasters, and do you know what? They don't put the prices on anything, and I don't know the, where the receipt is, but I'll try and put it in the box below. They're really inexpensive, and they're just like a carved grey stone, and I just thought they would look really nice on the dining table for everyone to put their glasses on then the thing i think that is my favorite out of everything is this and it's for the middle of our table and i hope i can show you oh, so pretty so it's this display of four glass bowls which obviously again you can put tea lights and candles and things in but i'll just quickly show you it up close so it was 14.99 i remember that one and you get this tray which is this really nice uh, washed wood effect and it's really it's really light and it's not very weighty or anything but it, it does look really nice hopefully you can see that and then you get the four of these which are on the outside they're sort of a mottled silvery colour and on the inside they're like a golden colour so it gives it that sort of champagne look which I think is really pretty and that's the sort of colour I want our Christmas decorations to be in the dining room this year so you get four of these and it's 14 99 I think it will make a really lovely table centrepiece all year round, but you can just dress it up in different ways. So like for Halloween, you can do like a, a autumn, you could do a little autumn theme theme, some pumpkins. And for Christmas, you can put like little garnishes around it, like holly and pine cones and just like, you know, Christmassy stuff. So that was that and I'm so happy with that little purchase. Also from the range we went a little bit frame crazy or should I say I did. Ricky doesn't really have a part in this because he was just a bit like yeah just kind of do what you want babe it's totally fine. So we got frames again rustic. See the look I'm going for. Um, these are really nice and they're, they're, they're really inexpensive. So for this size which is 8 by 6 it's £2.00. 29 we went a little bit crazy on the frames but i'm going to have some upstairs and some downstairs so this one we got 2.99 and then this one's the same 2.29 sorry um and then we got some larger ones which are 2.99 for this size these are going to look so nice i'm going to do some diys eventually so i'll tell you what i'm planning for them but even if you don't have pictures this big you could do like a grouping of four or something like that it would look really cute so that one, $2.99. This one is $2.99. Then I have some smaller ones. That well, that one is $2.29, so I've got three of them. I just randomly picked them up, which I always do, and just work out. I would definitely work out what you want first before you just go and buy a load of frames, which I always do. This one is the smallest one they do, I think, and it's $1.99, and it's 7 by 5 
Then I got another two ninety nine one and two big ones. I think they even go bigger than this. I'm not sure. These are five forty nine. I think they do massive ones too. If you're just looking for one that you can do a whole big collage in, but I just love the effect of these and the larger ones are are a bit nicer they kind of have more of a frame to them but yeah oh i'm gonna put all the frames back now so one more thing from the range i don't know if i'm gonna be able to show you this properly in the video is this lamp which i fell in love with and this is going to look so nice on the sideboard that we're planning to get so it has this sort of uh, linen fabric cream linen fabric shade um, and I really like the shape of it as well. Hopefully you can see that. And then the base is so nice. It's quite light. It's definitely not made out of like a good quality wood or anything. Um, I'm trying to think how much it was. I'll put it in the description because I can't, cannot remember at all. But I do think it was 20 something pounds. Um, unless it says, does it say? No. So I just really liked it. I liked the shape of it and the carving and I'm not even sure what it's made of but I just I just like it there's not much more I can say other than I bought it because I liked it and I think it will go with the look that I'm going for so that's what that looks like this would look really nice in a bedroom as well or two either side of a bed and they do slightly they do smaller ones in the same sort of style and round ones too I'm just getting too excited about the range finally I have one more thing to show you and it's Christmassy and I picked it up in home sense they have such lovely Christmas decorations in there and really unique things that you just won't find anywhere else so I got this we're thinking of having this on the front door as a wreath but I'm not sure yet so but again this ties in with the whole rustic theme it has little gold stars it has holly it's kind of snowy effect looking has some green stuff on it um and it's wooden and nice and I really like it and it was only $7.99 which I think is really good and it just goes with the whole rustic starry grey theme wooden love it put that there so as you can probably tell I'm rather excited about all of this stuff and I just love free decorating a room it's just the most fun thing ever so thank you so much for watching everyone let me know what your favorite thing is in the haul in the comments box below and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching I'll see you again soon bye